Yesterday, the first 27 satellites of Amazon's Project Kuiper were launched into orbit. Is this the beginning of the first true Starlink competitor? We've got a few new details. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to give you an update on Amazon's Project Kuiper. Now, for those who have not been following along, Amazon, the company that does everything from almond flour to cardboard boxes to razors you shave your face with, is now getting into the outer space business, launching their own satellites and intending to build a satellite constellation to rival Starlink. Now, Amazon has been working on this for many, many years, and we've actually been tracking it and doing news stories on uh, Project Kuiper since 2019. And two years ago, Amazon launched the first two test satellites to just prove out their technology. But mostly, they've been keeping things under the radar as they work on this, just periodically updating that this is a major commitment. They are investing billions and billions of dollars, and they have the resources to do it. Well, now they're actually out the gate. Yesterday, after many delays, United Launch Alliance launched the first 27 production satellites that will go towards building the Kuiper constellation. So how many more satellites will this take before we get prime satellite delivery service from space and uh, you know, prime connectivity or whatever they decide to end up calling this? We still don't know, but Amazon is actually saying that they're hoping to have some sort of commercial launch by the end of 2025. That's this year. So they've got a long way to go from the first 27 satellites to getting a working constellation in orbit. Now, the, the full uh, license for the Kuiper constellation involves over 3,000 satellites, and Amazon has already booked and reserved more than 80 launches. And to get this many launches, they are using United Launch Alliance, both the Atlas V and the Vulcan. They're using Arian Space. They're using the um, uh, New Glenn from uh, Blue Origin. And they're even turning to their arch competitor, of SpaceX to use some Falcon launches to get this constellation up into orbit. And that's a lot of satellites. To get 3,000 up there, it's going to take them some time. But according to some FCC filings, it's only going to take a little over than 500 satellites to have coverage over most of North America. And so Amazon will be able to start turning on service once the first 570 something satellites are in orbit. How long will that take? Will it be done by the end of 2025? hugely optimistic goal, but well, things are happening now and that is exciting. Now as part of this launch, Amazon has put out a teaser video of kind of the share a little bit of hype around Project Hyper and they've revealed a few more details. Um, one of the most interesting things is their terminals. They're, um, what they are hoping will be very affordable terminals. The design is finalized and they say they are now in the factory in production, ramping up to make tens of millions of these terminals that will be how consumers can connect to Kuiper. And they even showed off the terminals going through freeze testing and water spray testing and everything else. So presumably the terminals are ready to go and they've shared some photos of what they'll look like and a few basic specifications of what the preliminary ones were. And this is in the works. Now, what will Kuiper hardware and service cost? That is still unknown. They know they've got a serious competitor in SpaceX, so they're going to have to be price competitive, but we do not know the specific details, and that will probably not be until later in this year, hopefully, when uh, Amazon's got enough satellites that they feel confident announcing the launch details to consumers, not just the launch into orbit details. But are you mobile and connected? Do you want a cool shirt to brag about it? Well, we can help you out at the Mobile Internet Resource Center by going to rbmobileinternet.com slash shirt, and you can get a cool shirt like mine. And best of all, this shirt does not have any URLs, branding, or any of that other marketing stuff. It is just a cool shirt. So if you want a cool shirt, you're mobile and connected, go get one over there. But the big update, Project Kuiper, is in the works. It is starting to happen. The launches are lining up. Amazon claims in their video that they are prepared to um, build and prep and prepare for launch five Kuiper satellites a day. And now the real proof will be how quickly do they get to the second launch, the third launch, the fourth launch, and build up and ramp up the launch to get Kuiper to the point that they can actually do the launch to you and to me and to everyone else who is looking for other viable ways to keep connected wherever you go. And 
one other, when I'm saying wherever you go, there's one other Kuiper catch that a lot of people don't realize is unlike Starlink and OneWeb that are full, truly global constellations, including polar regions, Kuiper from the very beginning has been designed not to be global. It does not go to the poles. Amazon thinks there's not enough people up there to prime potential prime customers in the polar regions and that means that northern Canada, northern Alaska will never get Kuiper coverage, at least the generation one of the constellation. So not quite the same as Starlink in that regard. In other ways it's actually pushing some technology in some really interesting directions and, and maybe more advanced than Starlink. We will have a lot to see as this space race turns into a from a one horse race and that one horse is so far ahead in the form of Starlink to a very, very well-financed competitor coming on board from Amazon, backed by Amazon in the form of Project Kuiper. So Space Race is going to be getting very interesting. We're always covering it over at the Mobile Internet Resource Center and um, look forward in the not too distant future. We'll be doing a deeper dive into the state of all the competitors that are looking to bring mobile internet and internet from space um, to you wherever you happen to go. So we've got a big update in the works that will cover that. So stay tuned and watch here and follow along over at the Mobile Internet Resource Center. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.